Hello everyone, last time we played the first of the biker missions, and boy aren't they nifty. You have one new message. Beep! Hello, it's Mark, from the Miami Drop-Off. It looks like you missed your delivery last night. I've got another parcel for you today. Please drop it off at Southwest 107th place. Our clients will not to tolerate further delays. Click! So... Words. Fun games. Get it? Cause Chinaman? I'm surprised you're not having any problems with fraps right now. Which is always nice. Let's do the run around. Hey asshole over here. And let's wait for him. There we go. Could have done that a lot faster. Damn dog. Ooh, there we go. Nice combo. It's just... Play safe- Oh, Jesus! I did not see him there. Get him good. Get him going. Get him gone. Go gone, gone, gone. Oh, crap. Last guy, even. First guy, even. Goddamn head stomps for the win. Dogs. There we go, cleaver slit, something besides head stomp. Why are there windows even in the bathroom? Oh crap, get him. There we go, very nice. I mean, Cleaver as a weapon is like so badass. <laughs> See our score? Pretty nice, still not grade A plus. And look, the biker's a pretty cool dude. He has friends and a toilet. You have one new message. Beep. Hi, it's Jane. Who's who's? <coughs> Hi, it's Jane. It was nice to see you again. How about another date tonight? Pick me up at Northeast 158th Street around nine, okay? And put on one of those nice suits you've got. You're taking me somewhere fancy this evening. Click. God, Hotline Miami 2 is going to be fun with all its dialogue. Into the thing. Ooh, prank call. Phone home, bitches. So the funny thing about this mission is that you can choose to either kill these people or just go into the elevator. But just for old time's sake. Go and get that. Go and get that. Not even safe in the copy room. Madness. No one's safe. Stay away from me! Security! Security! Look, sir, please don't kill me! Please, I'll do anything! Bitch. Interesting. North 87th place, huh? So that's where you've been hiding. Oh, look who it is. Look who decides to show up. Get out of here if you don't want to die. Okay, have it your way. At Burger King. See, I like this one because I don't have to fool around. I can just knife him. Kick him to the ground. You had your chance. 
stomp. Badass. All the way. I'm thinking about doing a... a different playthrough of Hotline Miami where I hook myself up to a machine that shocks me every time I die. Of course I'll have to get the materials to do that with, but... that's the sacrifice of making sacrifice. You have one new message. Beep! Hi, it's Ben, from Miami Funeral Parlor. I'm just calling to tell you that we have the tombstone you ordered done and ready to be delivered. With a little luck, you should be getting it before the weekend. Click! What kind of an animal is that? Neon Panther. I like it. Very classy. Haunt bike. Tip, your meat cleaver is here to stay. How are you that? Dot dot dot. Oh, son. You best be not run from me. Now this is the, uh, unaltered, unsecret ending. After which, after the credits, I'll show you the secret ending. What's going on? Oh. What's going on down here? We're, pl we're playing game, aren't we? And you're one of our pawns, aren't you? I guess this means game over. Uh, who are you working for? No one, haha! <laughs> we're independent, we did it all ourselves. Hard to believe, isn't it? Why are you doing this? We were bored, that's why. Why oh, would you need to justify our actions? You've done far worse things than we have, haven't you? Besides, you know how much money we're, you know how much money we're making. It's all been pointless. If you say so. If you don't understand why we're doing this, then you sh then why should we tell you? Any last words? How about fuck you? Ho ho ho! You're the first one to die. Yeah, fuck you! Oh. Immune to knives, apparently. Not immune to this bitch. Spill those out. Suck it. And onto the bike. And let the cred credits roll again. Riding along the road, being a biker, cleaving people in the face, making such a big disgrace. Doom, doom.
time for the secret ending. What's this? Looks like I need a password to access this computer. Let's try something. Ah, there we go. I see. So that's your game, huh? Let's go confront these assholes. So this is the base of your operations, huh? Infiltrating the enemy? How clever of you! Ho ho! You were the asshole from her phone home last night. What do you want? I looked through your computer upstairs. I thought we should have a little talk about your line of work. You don't know shit. Our system is password protected. No one knows the password but the two of us. I was born in the USA. How the hell do you figure that out? Let's just say I, ha I used a little magic. So, let me get this straight. You're nationalist scumbags. You're threatening your members into doing your dirty work. And this whole thing is a two-man operation? You could say that. Though we like to call ourselves patriots. We volunteer to conduct this little experiment by ourselves. But I can assure you, we're just the tip of the iceberg. We're setting up operations all over the country. How do you come up with this crazy scheme? Crazy? What you need to realize is that all you gotta do is to get people to do what you want them to do is... is to make them think there will be consequences if they don't. It's a principle of our whole, so our whole society is built on. So it's okay to threaten people into killing each other. Wake up, man. Don't you see? This is a country at war. Fifty blessings is the foundation for patriots. Our members must fill out a form in which they state that they're willing to die for the sake of our nation. You might remember this. You remember too, right? And you expect to topple the Russo-American coalition using methods like this? Oh, don't you worry about that. We'll have this country back on its feet soon enough. Give us five years and you'll see what we're capable of. Holy crap. They did a typo in the word of. They said off. This is just the first step. You'll understand in time. We've got some very powerful people on our side. You know what? I think I've heard enough now. I have no interest in politics. You people have wasted enough of my time already. And I'm going to choose to not kill them now. And so that's the uh, alternate ending if you get the puzzle pieces. Not much else, but some more story fluffing. And if you go in the back, it'll just be more credits. So I will see you in the next episode where I do the bonus levels! See you then.